I'm here to share with you some tips for shopping and saving money because we all love to do that. So let's see. The first tip would have to be to not be brand specific. And by that, I mean don't go into the store saying, you know, I'm going to go buy the Pantene shampoo and conditioner, the Dove soap, the Tide uh, laundry detergent. Don't go in there with that kind of mindset. Go in there knowing what's on sale, what you have a coupon for, what you're going to get for the lowest price. So that's really fun. And I love coming home with new products, new brands. It's really fun to try out new things. So this is a great way to do it and for such a low price. So I love doing that. Now my second tip would be to make a list. Now I'm really bad about doing this. I will kind of go to the store with an idea of what I want to buy and I will kind of go venture off in the store and I will come home with none of the things that I needed. And I'll be very sad because I'll come home and it's like, where are the razors that I was supposed to get? What about that deodorant I really needed? And it's really frustrating. So I make lists and I kind of just cross them off. <laughs> the easiest way to save the most money is to find out what's on sale and match the coupons up with it and you'll get it for such a great price because I mean you're already saving money because it's on sale and then your coupon is additional money off so that's great you can usually get things for super super cheap this little pouch is what I keep in my bag this one happens to be the Tokidoki for Sephora and in here I keep coupons and my shopping list and I even throw my receipts in there just so I have everything all in one place. So for the purpose of this video I'm going to share with you my shopping list and what I got today and how I got it home for such a low price. So on my shopping list was shaving cream, gum, shampoo and conditioner, and dry shampoo. So let's get into what I got. So, on the list was shaving cream. This was $2.64 at Walmart. I had a dollar off coupon, so that really helped. That was something I really needed. Then, gum was on the list. This was $0.96, cents and I had $0.50 cents off. So, $0.96 minus $0.50 equals put that in my cart, not on my floor. <laughs> Then next, shampoo and conditioner, and I got the L'Oreal Power Moisture Hyaluronic Shampoo and Conditioner, and these were $3.97 a piece, but I had a coupon for when you buy two, you got $5 off, so that was an amazing deal, and I love that shampoo and conditioner. It's so moisturizing, and it's awesome, so I was really excited to get that for such a great price. So the trick to getting those for those prices was just going on the Walmart website before I went to the store. So I went on there, I was looking for shampoo coupons, shaving cream coupons, gum coupons, whatever I could find that I needed, I printed out. So that's how I saved money on that. Now also on the list was dry shampoo and I didn't get it at Walmart, but the Petite Dry Shampoo for dark hair is something I've been looking for for a really long time. and. I saw it online, I think it was like $8 and then it was shipping, so I didn't want to do that. I eventually found it at Urban Outfitters for I believe it was like between $9 to $12 and I really didn't want to spend that kind of money on a dry shampoo, I was just like, I will shower for that $12, like I'm just going to save that and just forget about it. But I found it at Marshalls for $5, so nearly half the price that I originally found it for and it is now mine. So the point of the story is not to just jump on something when you first find what you're looking for. Really investigate and kind of find where you can get it for the best price because basically I could have got two for the price that I've seen it for. So definitely look around, wait if you can, if it's not a must have. Um, you could definitely save a lot of money. So definitely go on the Walmart website, the Target website, wherever you shop and see if they offer coupons because <sighs> that's gross. Because you can save so much money. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and you'll start saving money for yourself. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Go save yourself some money.